Hi, I'm Tara, and I'm here with Drew Horder, the chief brewer of Brain Dead Brew Pub. And today we're going to celebrate Oktoberfest with Brain Dead Oktoberfest. Gross. <laughs> the reason I wanted you to come in is because um, we have Oktoberfest season here, and, and there's a lot of people with German descent, so Oktoberfest has become really popular in Texas. Um, for Oktoberfest, I wanted to make sourdough pretzels. But I know that pretzels are never as good by themselves as they are with beer. So will you tell us a little bit about Brain Dead's Oktoberfest beer, about an Oktoberfest beer in general? Yeah, of course. Uh, so ours is called Gemütlich, which is my favorite word in probably any language. Uh, it means the spirit of the beer garden, or beer hall. I've seen different translations. Anyway, uh, we use all, all German ingredients. It's actually a very traditional Oktoberfest. Uh, we're using all malts from Kulmbach and all Hollertau and Tetanang region hops. Uh, and uh, a blend of lager yeasts, but uh, very, very authentic. Only 5.1% alcohol and light on the hops, but you can still taste it. Oh yeah, definitely. It's got that, that balance because Oktoberfest can sometimes, if it's not well made, like this one is, get a little on the sweet side because of all the, the mm -hmm. caramel notes. And it's meant to drink all day. So. There you go. <laughs> so, thank you so much for bringing this beer in. I brought pretzels to this party. So, yes. these are sourdough pretzels. Um, I did them with unfed starter. Okay. And I covered these in everything bagel seasoning because okay. I'm pretty <laughs> addicted to it. So, um, I happen to know that making beer and making bread are, is kind of related. So. What can you tell us about uh, how beer is like bread? Uh, yeast is the uh, real common thread here. Uh, grain, obviously, is really important, but uh, to make beer, you have to have malt. Bread, not so much. Uh, so going back to even the origins of written language, uh, beer and bread are intimately tied together. In fact, uh, before there were uh, yeast production facilities, bakers had to get their yeast from somewhere, and that was from breweries. The only process that produced enough, uh, enough yeast back in the day. And in fact, um, you had to have a special license to make wheat beer in southern Germany, Bavaria, for a very long time, uh, because all the wheat was being used to make bread. So you had to have royal permission to take anything from uh, from the bread supply. Oh, actually, I'm going to check these out because I've been dying to have yes. one. I've been waiting for Cheers. you. <laughs> Perfect amount of chew. I actually really like the balance of this beer. It's got the right amount of bitterness to make it great with savory, mm -hmm. but then it's got the sweet balance to it. And so it's complimentary and it's contrasting. Well, all I can really say, Drew, is thanks for coming down here. Thanks for bringing us beer. Yeah, my pleasure. Yeah, <laughs> thanks for eating my cooking. Hell yeah. <laughs>